Well, the 50th annual Daytime Emmy Awards air live this Friday, December 15th at 9 p.m. right here on Channel 3. And the stars from CBS Daytime Dramas are up for some awards. Joining us now, Jacqueline McInnes-Wood, who plays the role of Steffi Forrester. Yay! On Bold and the Beautiful. And Jason Thompson, who stars as Billy Abbott on Yay! The Young and the Restless. Welcome to both of you. Hi. Hey How are you guys? <laughs> Oh, it's great to be here. Thanks for having us. Oh, my God. Can we go yeah, back? Yeah, thank you very much. Can we go back in time? Can I embarrass you a little bit? Which one? Who? Uh, if you're talking to me, absolutely. Please, okay, I welcome you. Talking okay. to Jacqueline, she we'll, can... We'll start with Jason. I'm going to say three things. Okay. Everybody in cords, everybody in leather, everybody in vests. I, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I still agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I did a group of uh, Gap commercials a long time ago, and uh, we were the singing Gap commercials. It was those were great. I had a blast doing those. Yeah, they were. They still great. resonate too. Every once in a while, people send them to me, and I'm like, those are really great commercials. Yeah. And you kind of pick and choose like who's in there. Like, oh, that person's in there. Oh, that person ended up doing that. Oh, that person. There's some there's some great people in those commercials. But yeah. Yeah, so, I heard thanks you were, like, discovered on the streets for modeling. That was, like, one of your early things. That's in a, amazing. In a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, I was busting tables when I was about 15 years old and uh, left home at about 18 years old and traveled for two, three years and then ended up in L.A. when I was 20. And then, oh you know, and, and Jacqueline, started that journey. Jacqueline, I'm going to go. You were known as the hair girl for first choice haircutters. Is that right? Yes. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. Yeah, that was the first thing I ever booked. They took this much off of my hair and I'm like, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big it was a big moment for me. Oh, yeah. The, I was down there for that for a while. Yeah. Oh, that's well, awesome. Yes. <laughs> and I, I, I absolutely I do have hair envy of you. I love your hair. But um, oh, thank you. I, I've had opportunities to go out there and I love um, one time I got to go and be a little extra on Bold and the Beautiful and I got to go in the commissary and it was really cool because the Y&R actors and the Bold and the Beautiful actors, they like all eat together. You guys are really one nice family, right? Yeah, it's. I always say this to anyone who's watched the show, fans, viewers. I, I always wish that I could bring every single one of them uh, onto our set because it is. It's so cool just being on the CBS lot, but how we're all kind of interwoven and it's just great energy. We're always laughing. It's just. I, I wish that everyone could experience not the, just the storylines, but even off camera too. And uh, Jason, you were Dr. Patrick Drake, Dr. Hottie on General Hospital for a while, right? <laughs> yes, I was. I was for 10 years I was over there. And uh, only two of it, I was hot. But, um, <laughs> but it, was, it was a good time. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's one of the things that I love about the Emmys is getting together and seeing people that you've worked with on other shows. And, you know, it's the 50th anniversary. YNR is celebrating its 50th year on, on the air. And it's a big, big old party. And you get to see people that you've worked with in the past and, and people that you, you know, you want to catch up with and, and get in the same room with. So I'm really looking forward to it. Are you guys excited that you both are nominated once again? I know you're previous winners, but here you are again. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Like, kind of echoing what Jason said, it's just, it's going to be a great, a great night with all the shows. Uh, but yeah, and it'll be fun doing this in December right before the holidays. It'll be a good time. Well, we are excited yeah. for both of you and, and congratulations to both of you. I, I'm sure that never gets old. Yeah, it never gets old. <laughs> One question before we go, Jacqueline, is it going to be Liam? Or is it going to be Finn? And I'm worried about Eric's health. Can you tell us a little anything? I heard Eric's going to make You're it. Gonna have, oh, I know. It's been so heartbreaking. <laughs> uh, John McCook is absolutely fantastic. He is the heartbeat of our show. He is the North Star. So that you have to tune in. It's going to go past the holidays, but you got to tune in. It's going to be an emotional roller coaster. And oh, Steam or Finn, I can't. I'll just juggle them both for now. <laughs> we want to thank you both for being with us. You're excellent. And we hope you win. Thank you. Thank so. you. See you later. All right. Take Thank care. Thank you to both of you. And for all of our viewers, you can watch the 50th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards air on Friday, December 15th, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. You can also stream the show right on Paramount+. Plus.